All right, welcome back to Keeping It Real with River Band Pentecostals. I'm Terrence. And I'm Tripp. Uh, my buddy Cody, our brother Cody, wasn't able to make it for this episode, but uh, we're going to go over obedience. Uh, last time when we was doing it, I was supposed to do trust and obedience, and we kind of had a mishap with the uh, memory card. Uh, we're sorry about that. We apologize. Uh, I'm going to let my brother uh, Trip go ahead and pray us in, and uh, we'll just get moved into what I think uh, God has for us. Lord, I, I thank you for allowing us to be here tonight, giving us the opportunity to do yet another podcast and hopefully reach souls. If Even if it's one soul, it's enough. But inspire people, build faith. That's what we're here to do, and to share our stories and just to talk, and the, the name of this podcast is Keeping It Real, and that's what we want to do. And But we want you to come first. We want you to get the glory from it and get the praise. And we really appreciate everything that you've done for us and everything you're going to do for us. I'm believing for bigger and greater things, and they're coming They're coming soon. There's a harvest that's out there. We're ready to go get it. we just got to be laborers. And uh, I pray that you're, you bless this podcast tonight, bless those that are watching it, and Bless Brother Terrence as he gives us what you gave him. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. All right, we're going to be, I'm going to go over obedience. And uh, I'm doing it in uh, the story of Abraham, where Abraham was told to, you know, sacrifice Isaac, uh, his only son. Uh, it's in Genesis uh, 22. I'm going to read from chapter 22, verse 1 to 18 just to paint a picture of what I'm trying to bring across. So uh, we'll go into that now. And it says, And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, I am here, or here I am. He said, Take now thy son, thy only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and uh, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mounts which I will tell thee of. And Abraham rose up early in the morning. He saddled his ass and took two of two of his young men with him, and Isaac his son, and clave the wood for the burnt offering, and rose up and went unto the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide here, abide ye here with the asses, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it up upon Isaac his son. And he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they both went, and uh, yeah, and they went both of them to together. And Isaac spoke unto Abraham, his father, and said, "My father." And he said, "Here am I, my son." And he said, "Behold, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the off for the burnt offering?" And he said. And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a, a lamb for a burnt offering. So they both, so they went both of them together. And they came to the place which God had told him of. And Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thy hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thy only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold him, a ram caught in the thicket by his horn. And Abraham 
went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead instead of in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day in the mount in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. And the angel of the Lord called upon Abraham out of the heaven the second time and said, By myself I have sworn, saith the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing and hast not withheld thy son, thy only son, that in blessing I will bless thee and multiply, I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heavens and as the sand which is upon the seashore. And thou seed shall possess the gates of his enemies. And in the seed shall all nations of the earth be blessed, because thou, have, thou hast obeyed my voice. My focus tonight is obedience. But my focus verses in, in this chapter is verse 3, 5, and 17 and 18. You know, obedience is one of the key things that we need to have in our life when we're, when we're living for God. Um, it's important for us to be obedient unto His Word. Um, it can bless us in many ways, many, many ways. But uh, if you'll look in verse 3, it says, Abraham rose up in the morning and saddled his ass and took two of the young men with him and Isaac his son, and clave the wood for the burnt offering, and rose up and went to the place which God had told him. He was obedient. He never, it never said that he questioned him, <clears throat> but I don't think Abraham did question him because God had already promised <clears throat> to multiply his seed anyway through him. So, you know, he had to sacrifice his only son that he had, uh, that he lovest, it said. Um, I told you, just to throw in this, I told you earlier when we talked, that that's prophetic, sacrificing his only son, coming of the cross. If you look throughout the Bible, there's many different times where the Lord foreshadowed a lot of events. Right. And that was just another instance there where he was, it's crazy how the Lord works. He just throws in these quick little deals where, he was showing, you know, what's going to happen later on as far as the cross and sacrificing, which Jesus is God, but he right. was sacrificing his only son and the the love that he had for him. And it just shows the love of the Father. Right. And which you could go into that, you know, talking. We're talking about obedience, but you right. can, obedience leads to love. It does. And that's how Abraham did. That's that's good. I like that. Yeah. Um. I lost my train of thought for a minute. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, you're good, bro. Uh, but, I mean. You were talking about how he didn't have look to. At, look at what God is wanting to do in your life. Uh, I'll take it here for a second. Uh, what is God, you know, wanting you to change in your life? What is God wanting you to separate yourself from? To maybe it's maybe it's God's wanting you to separate yourself to be more holy or to have more holy standards. Um, God could be wanting you to separate yourself from the people that you're around to to try to shine into your life, to shine into your darkness. But if if we're just focused on, well, there, you know, I don't want to do that or. We're focused on trying to justify the situations that we're in. It's never going. It's the outcome is still going to be the same. It's not going to work until we do it. So why not, you know, stop questioning, or stop uh, murmuring against him, or trying to justify what we're doing, and just be obedient for once. I think when we're just obedient under what he's wanting to wanting to do in us. Uh, I think we'll see that 
you know, it's not that hard. I mean, you look at Abraham. Abraham was giving up something far greater than what we will give up. Oh, for sure. I mean, he was he was giving up his only son. God's not going to tell us, hey, hey, Trip, I want you to sacrifice Lottie. He, yeah. He's not going to do that. No. You know, he, he already knows where your faith is. But he wanted to see where Abraham's true faith was at. This was, you know, planning out everybody. I mean, you know, Abraham, you know, he was he was a key key guy. I mean And and he knew because the Lord had told him that he was gonna provide a ram. Right. Um but he was following through with what the Lord had told him anyway. Absolutely. And so even in the back of his mind, you know, the Lord's never gonna ask you to like you said, kill your child. Right. And even then, he wasn't necessarily asking him to do that. No. Even though he did, it was a, he just wanted to see if Abraham would, in the act of obedience. Right. Because technically, Abraham never followed through because the Lord followed through with his promise right. and provided sacrifice. Right. He just wanted to see if Abraham was would going go to and do, do it. it and right. act like he was, he was going forward with it. That's he was going to. He, and he I was think on the he, way to obeying right. that. He was, he was. As bad as that was, and, and as tough yes. as that had to have been on him. Absolutely. You know. Didn't think twice about it. No. You was just talking because, about it in verse 3. He, yeah. never, he never questioned the Lord. No, he never, he never did. He just rose he up. He trusted in him. He did. He trusted. And, and that's what it goes down to, too. As we was talking last week, trust. We also have to trust in God. Whatever God is trying to do in our life, we have to trust that it's for a purpose. It's for something far greater than what we can imagine. I mean, us sacrificing our time to do this podcast is for a reason. Exactly. You know, we just have to be obedient and do it. But, you and, know. And I'll say this real quick. which We've talked about it before about the Holy Ghost and stuff. And I don't know if y'all is going to have a whole other podcast where y'all do strictly salvation. But we oh, believe. we will. But. That's another reason why it's so important to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost because then the Lord starts leading you and directing you and telling you. He speaks to everybody. Absolutely. You can hear him without having the Holy Ghost. But when you have, when you receive him and he lives within inside of you, he speaks to you way more often than he used to. You will be, you won't even be thinking about church, thinking about nothing, and the Lord will speak to you right there. You right. might be in the grocery store and he says, hey, go pray for this person or go yep. do that. He just speaks to you in, in an instant. And... That is why it's so important to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost because then he's going to tell you to do things and that's when you trust in him and obey him. Right. If you don't have the gift of the Holy Ghost, you're not going to hear from him as much. No. Or as in, he's not going to ask you, to, he's not going to trust you to do them. Right. For certain things. And that's why it's so more, so much important that we should receive the gift of the Holy Ghost too. Not only for salvation, but it gives the Lord opportunity to tell us to do things and we can obey. Right. And he leads and guides us. And then, and then the path to obedience after obedience becomes blessings. Right. If Abraham didn't obey, he would have never got the blessing. He would have never got the and blessing. That's, that's how many times I was telling you earlier, how many times do we cheat ourselves out of a blessing because, we, because we didn't obey? Right. Because it may be something like that. The Lord asks us to do something we're like, good. not necessarily sacrificing your child, but I'm talking figuratively. He asks you to do something and you're just like, that's too big. It or is. that's out of my control. I can't do. I can't move away from my town. I right. can't go preach here. I can't right. go pray for this person. Yeah. I can't go witness to this person or give a Bible study. They hated me in school. Right. And so many things like that. And or, uh, or it might be little things like, hey, uh, don't cut your hair, or hey, yeah, um, let, let's not wear makeup, or hey, don't wear shorts, wear pants. Um, Hey, don't listen to that music. Only listen to gospel music. Hey, don't watch that show because it's not good for you. I want, matter of fact, yeah. don't even watch TV. Yeah. Just, just focus and, and then on in reality. More. In reality, you can tell people all around you because they're not hearing that same they're voice not. from the Lord. No, you can tell everybody that that you don't think that it's wrong. Mm -hmm. But if you know, that's another thing about having the Holy Ghost. If you know, if the Lord told you that you shouldn't do something. And then you do it anyways. That's you a feel the conviction of it. That's disobedience, right? And it becomes a sin immediately. It does. And even though, even though it's something that little, you know, Abraham obeyed something big, but even on the little things. Right. Well, let's go back. You know, he did disobey. He wasn't always obedient. Right. We he did. About that. He did disobey. He had Ishmael. Right. Look at the look what the sacrifice. Yeah. Look look what happened 
and not being and, disobedient. And that, that, came caused, from, that came from his impatience because yep. the Lord had promised him a child and he didn't come as quick as he thought he would, so he took matters into his own hands and right. said, I just need to make this happen. Yep. And it wasn't the will of God right then. Right. And like we was th- you just said it, that's thousands and thousands of years ago, and we're still seeing the effects still. of that over in Israel. And Absolutely. It's, it's terrorizing. It's terrorized so many lives over the years, all right. because of one mistake. And it wasn't necessarily that he had bad intentions. He had good intentions. He was trying to see the promise of God fulfilled. Right. But he was impatient. He was impatient. And then he, his impatience led he, to disobedience. It, it wasn't meeting up to his standard at the time. But, you know, God. Well, the Lord told him something. And he was like, I guess it needs to be done right now. Right now. And it didn't. Right. The Lord will make a way. He will. Just like here. Yep. Whenever Abraham did obey, the Lord made a way for him to get out of it and escape he it. He provided a ram. Um, I heard a preacher talk about it one time, and he was like, your miracle's in the bushes. You know, in the middle of your sacrifice, you're you're reaching back. I mean, there's paintings of it. Uh, Abraham reached back with the knife or whatever, you know, whatever it was he had. Right. He had reached back, and, and Isaac's laying there on the altar. That's a whole other thing we can talk about. Isaac had enough faith, and he obeyed his father, that you never see him fighting his dad. How many child... Would children lay would there. lay there and let their dad do that. Right. So Abraham obeyed God, but Isaac obeyed his father and trusted him enough oh, to, to lay like on the that. altar. Yeah. If he wouldn't have laid on the altar, Abraham yeah. wouldn't have been at, I can wouldn't. see it now, him fighting and running right. off and him having to time down. Yeah. Isaac, he but got it never said altar. it's never said none of that. Exactly. You know? He was going to sacrifice his own life because he, hey, my dad said he heard from God and I'm going to trust it. Right. That's that's really good. And then the I ram, didn't... and then the ram came out in the bushes. Right. It just so happens there was a ram there. There was a ram there, but you know, leading up to all that, leading up to all that, you know, nobody knew what the sacrifice was. No. So he stayed. That's that's another way that we stay obedient unto God. We don't go talking about what God wants us to do. We're not going and saying, "Hey, uh, man, God wants me to offer my only son up for." For an off for a burnt offering, exactly. Uh, man, I gotta go do this. He, you know, he pretty much just he, put his head down and did it. And did it. He 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 loaded up all his equipment and yep. stuff, and you can see he loaded his guys up. Yep. And that's a that's another thing of obedience. They didn't ask him why. No, they, they didn't just say, went what with him. What are you gonna sacrifice? He said, load everything up, let's go. They did it. They did it. They there's so many there's, different things of yeah. obedience in this. In I, this I've never in even this seen one that. chapter. I've never even seen that until right. the Lord just now revealed it to me. Man, that that the men had enough faith in their master to get to do what he said, and they didn't even know what he was going to sacrifice. Because you know it had to be in the back of their mind, like, man, where where where's yeah. the sacrifice yeah. at? What's going you on? Know, All I mean, we have is I us mean, and had, Isaac. I mean, Isaac even said, "Where where's the yeah. uh, where's the where's the offering?" Right. You know. And all Abraham, the Lord will provide. Yeah, the Lord will provide. But you know, and I and I hit on this a key deal in verse in uh, verse five, and said Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come to you again. When I was reading all this, it said the word worship in our com in my commentary. It said the word worship means to bow down. True worship requires obedience and sacrifice. Mm-hmm. I mean, so when you're in church and you're worshiping God, you look, you're being obedient and you're sacrificing yourself to give up the breath that he put in you in the, in the first place. That's exactly you know, right. you're being obedient unto God by worshiping him. You know, he wants us to worship him. He wants us to follow his word. He wants us to put this word that he put in this book. He wants us to put that inside of us where we can use it to to reach other folks. So when we're reading the word, we're being obedient unto God. Yeah. When we're pouring it into somebody else like that uh uh ver- that message who who preached it? brother Larry pouring out into oh, somebody yeah, pouring the oil into pouring, another you know that's being obedient. We're pouring the word into somebody yeah. else that don't know it. That's being he obedient. Said, go make, go get, you know, go get there for make disciples. Right. When and, we're and making that's dis- us being obedient to the word of God is man. pouring in somebody else. You, but, man, that worship deal that goes both ways too. It does. If you're in the church and you're worshiping and lifting your hands, clapping and and putting effort into the Lord and worship, He's worthy of more than we can even oh, give Him. Man. But I can at least give Him what I got. Right. And if we come into every church service and give everything to Him. That is obeying his word. Absolutely. But then if you're out in the world and you're witnessing to people, 
Right. And you're making disciples. You're praying for folks. You're you're just being a Christian. Just a uh, sometimes you just gotta be good. It does out in the world, and that is worship. And also, and I'll give I give a a, a little quick rundown. I was at Dollar Tree today, and I was standing in a line. There was a long line. I never, you know, there was some young, there was some older ladies in front of me, and they was just talking and everything. And I was just hanging out. I didn't even know where the line was at, but I just stayed there. I had stuff going on. And I needed to hurry up, but I have patience, you know. I wasn't trying to be rude. I was. I waited my turn like I should have. Yeah, I was wanting to hurry up and get out of there, but the cashier said, "You know, I, I'm not a whole lot of people are patient like you are. They yeah. think that we should have to hurry up. You know, some people are ugly. Yeah. You know, just because I was patient and just." You know, did did what I I mean I really didn't even do nothing. I just stood there, you know, I laughed and talked with some elderly ladies and you know yeah. you know, I just well like you said, being a Christian. That, that, it goes being back a love. light, man. That, just love. showing love. If you, man. if you love the world and have compassion for people, man. it ministers to people. But that's all it's all comes back to obeying this right here. That's that's what it's and all I was you know, about. I, I was I was in the beer stand this morning and I was thinking, you know, the news says all kinds of things. It says the world is bad, this is happening, division, disunity, all these things are going on. And and I, I what made me think about this is the wind. Because the, the weather had forecasted a certain wind. Mm-hmm. And in, in deer hunting you want to play the winds right. You don't want your wind blown out there for the deer to smell you. Right. So I was sitting in the deer stand and I was like, I I sat in this particular stand because the wind was going to be good. Well I sat there and I have some milkweed and I threw it in the air and it started drifting. Well, it, it was perfect at first. A few minutes later, I threw another one, and it blew the complete opposite way. And it was pretty much just going everywhere. And I was like, you know, they forecasted the wind to be straight east, northeast. And it's blowing south, west, north, east, everywhere. Right. And I was thinking, you know, the world, the news, period, not just the weather, but the news. I based my decision upon that. And I was like, man, the deer could come. You know, my wind is bad. But it could blow out here, and then a deer come from this way. You don't ever know. Mm-hmm. And the Lord still blessed us. Right. So I was thinking, you know, the news is saying this and saying that. It's nothing but disunity, division, distractions. Right. And the devil is what it is. That's all it is. And people believe it and base their decisions on it. I base my hunting decision on what the weather said. And people are basing their life decisions on what the news is saying. Absolutely. And, but... This right here when we base our is lives what says it, it, this says something. You take it to the bank. Absolutely. It's not going to change. It's not going to be like the wind and forecast it one way, and it's going to actually be another way. If the Lord said it in this book, it's going to come to pass. And it don't matter what book you read in it, New Living Translation, whatever. Right. It's all the same. The, you in can't. The, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word, and the word was with God, God and, and the, the word, word was God. God. He he. And it's the same God that wrapped himself in flesh and died for our sins. Absolutely. It shows the love that he has yep. for us. He gave us a way. This is our way he, out. This is absolutely. our way to help people. This is our way. This is the answer for everything. And it all comes back to obedience. Obedience. We've got to obey this book. We do. And you can't obey the book if you don't read the book. Right. You could you could put it on a shelf in the right. corner of your room. And you could tell everybody you go to church. Oh, but if you can't quote nothing to them, or if you can't, if somebody says, "Hey, um, tell me about Acts two thirty eight," and you say, well, I, "I really don't know. I'd have to yeah. look that up." Yeah. What is that book doing in the corner of the room for you? Yeah. You lost the opportunity to, to share something with somebody, and all God wanted you to do was put your put the word in your life. Uh, hey, hey, three him. three chapters a day. Two oh. chapters, one chapter a day, ten verses a day. Start off something small. Yeah. You know, I mean, as Do long as doable. you're putting the, the effort into it, God's going to bless you. Yeah. And God's going to use you in ways that you never thought you could be oh, used man. in. Man, I've been, I'm, man, I've only had the Holy Ghost for a little over a year. And God has used me in so many ways, so many ways, just because I've been obedient and this I am not gonna lie. I've been going to church for five years. This is the first first time in my life that I can say I've probably read seventy five percent of this book, yeah, or sixty percent.
percent of this book. It's over fifty percent. I'm all, I'm over a half of the year in of my daily devotional reading. I'm not trying to get no credibility for it or nothing, but God, you God's used me. Right. And, and it's more than just reading it to check it, it off. It too, is because you're reading it and Man. you're comprehending it and yes. you're studying it. Yes. And then you obey it. You obey it. And that's what that I that mean, is what it's all about. And and you know. I've sacrificed stuff in my life. You know, I used to listen to any kind of music that I wanted to. But, you know, I've stopped. I've seen the, the things that it makes me think of when I'm, when I'm listening to it. It's, it's not saying, I'm not saying that all music is bad. Right. But when you're indulging into something that, that alters your thinking, it, it's something that, and as Christians, we need to back away from it. You know, we need to separate ourselves from that. Because, man, we're in the we're in the business of winning folks. We're in the business of making disciples. We're in the business of who's the next person do I need to reach out and tell them about yeah. God. But you can't you can't sit there and tell somebody about God. Well, why would, they, why would they want to change their life if you're being just like them? Why would they follow right. you if you're like them? Absolutely. We've got to be set apart from this world. The, the Bible says the church is, in the last days, the church is going to be a city set up on a hill that cannot be hid. That's yes. why we cannot bury away from this. We cannot Absolutely. get away from the truth right. and the, the standards that God places in our lives. Because people are watching us. People right. at the store in the line are watching your are patience. Watching you. They're watching you, how you act. They're watching what you say at work. They're watching yep. what music you listen to. They're watching if you're gossiping about people. There's, There's people so are watching. Many. And yes. if, if we read the word and we obey the word and we do the word, God's going to make a way. People are coming. Man. He's drawing them in. It, the church cannot be hid. People, and we've seen it in our church. People are drawing everywhere. People are just showing up. Every service, we got new visitors showing up. That yes. I, people from here that I've never even known existed. Right. And they're, and they're like, man, I I don't even know what it was, but well, I, I seen it online. Or I seen a, I seen somebody from recovery talking about it. It's like Tuesday. It. It's like Tuesday. Brother GL in our small group said we reached somebody all the way in Alaska. Yeah. I mean, just just by putting them, just by putting our, our services out there on the Internet, man, we've reached somebody all the way in Alaska. Yeah. You know, we touched somebody. It touched his heart when he watched it. You know, I mean, God's working, man. God's wanting to do a great thing in this world. Yeah. And, and all it's going to, it just takes a little bit of obedience. Yeah. It takes a little bit of trust. It takes a little bit of sacrifice and something that he wants you to do. And, man, I, I'll say this, and I don't know who I'm talking to, but if you would just sacrifice something. That God's wanting you to sacrifice. God is wanting you to do something out of the ordinary. God is wanting you to take something out of your life and put Him in it. And I'm telling you, if you will do it, if you would just, just like There's Abraham, a blessing on the way. just go in the, in, in, in the process to, to taking it out little by little. You know, I didn't all at once shut all this out and shut all that out. I took stuff out a little at a time. But as I, now, I can tell you, I don't care if I turn on the TV or not because half the stuff that's on the TV is stuff, is, is negativity. It is hatred. It is tearing somebody else down. Yeah. It is putting things in my mind that shouldn't be there in the first place. It's altering my mind on what God wants me to do. There's, it's, yeah, there's depressed. Depression is there. I've, I've I mean, watched stuff before that after I watched it, I was depressed. You're like, man, why I do that? And, you, you know, before I watched it, it was fine. Right. Just watching a, 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 a single movie or a TV show caused depression to enter right. in my life. Man. The, there, man, you can get into a whole other deal about spiritual warfare because we are fighting a we spiritual are. war. But for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But, but they are mighty through God. God to the pulling down of strongholds and, and casting, casting down, down imaginations. imaginations. And every high thing that is it exalted itself. itself against the knowledge of God. Man. So, but you we, know, we, the, we, we rambled on long enough. We need to close this up. Right. But I, I feel the Lord here tonight. I, I do too. And whatever God's wanting to do in your life, just let him do it. Just obey his word. Do like Nike. Just do it. Just no do it. No questions asked. 
Right. Don't even hesitate or try to talk yourself out of it. The Lord tells you to do something instantly. Do it. Just do it. And you'll see something And you'll crazy see a happen. bigger blessing. I mean, look at Abraham. His blessing was, his seed was multiplied yep. just by obeying the voice of God. Father Abraham. I mean, man, and what's in this nations. book, it can change your life. Yep. It can save your life. It, this book stands in, in between heaven and hell for you. You know? Yep. Um, and I'll uh, say this real quick, just kind of closing up. Uh, not even talking about what we've talked about tonight, but I just want to say I appreciate anybody that watches this because it's you guys that make speaking this stuff even worth it because we could, we could retain all this stuff and be good and be lifted up and the Lord work through us, but it, it, it goes back to what we talked about, spreading it and helping people. Mm-hmm. And we're just telling every, we're just sharing everybody what the Lord has told with everybody what the Lord has told us and right. gave us. Mm-hmm. And I will say this, just to keep it all simple. It is worth it. It is. If you're thinking about this or you're thinking about the sacrifice that it takes or you're thinking about it's worth it. The blessing that is afterwards, it is worth the sacrifice oh, that you have to make right now. Absolutely. And we really appreciate everybody watching it. And if this is uplifting to you or if it pushes you to make that decision, to make that sacrifice, that's that's what it's all about, and uh, all can't praise. thank y'all, can't thank you enough. And like you said, all praise goes to all God. All praise goes to God. It ain't none of us. It's just God working through us. Yeah. Uh, I'll I'll thank close you. this out in prayer. Right. Uh, Lord, we just want to thank you tonight, Lord. Lord, we just want to ask you to help help us self evaluate ourselves with your Word, Lord. Lord, I pray that whatever it is in our life that you're wanting us to change. Lord, help us to be obedient unto your word. And Lord, just let us trust in you. Lord, let us show love everywhere that we go in this world. Lord, let us just show love to the person that's standing beside us in the line. Or when our day is going bad, Lord, let us just show love to people even when we don't feel love in our life. Lord, we love you. And Lord, we thank you for everything that you have done for us, Lord. Thank you for leading and guiding us in the ways of understanding. Lord, thank you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thanks, everybody. Thank everybody for watching. Uh, I appreciate Terrence having me on today. Cody wasn't able to make it. The next one's going to be great. Oh, yeah. And the next one's going to be greater. The next one's going to be greater. But it's not great without y'all being here to hear. That's right. Y'all make us better. Yeah. You know, we're we're just we're just here trying to do God's we're work. We're better because of you. you. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We want to just thank you again, and uh, I it, hope it, this blesses you in many ways. If you if you like these videos, and there's actually quite a we'll, we'll make a playlist of them, but there's church services and everything. This is on our church page. If you like any of the videos that we got going on these podcasts. Don't forget to like, share with your friends, send them, uh, oh, yeah. and then subscribe to the channel because there's going to be many more. And, Absolutely. And, uh, we're excited for all them things to come. Every other weekend, yep. we're going to do one. So nice. we appreciate y'all, and uh, I don't know if you can read my shirt. Terrence mentioned it before, but can't measure a miracle. Love so, it. I love it. Thank you. See you on the next episode.